Hello my friends, it is me, Millicent Ginger, and it is May the 7th, 2017. It's now 10.25 in the evening. I am wiped out. I am completely exhausted. In fact, my friend Mara was over earlier and we were watching TV and I was actually falling asleep on the couch, but I wanted to make this video. So, uh, also my wife poured herself a glass of wine and didn't drink it, so I'm going to drink that as well, even though it's technically past my eating window. Uh, so what did I want to make this video about? Well, I missed my way in on Friday, but I decided to weigh myself in today. And uh, the last time I did an official weigh in, it was I think 175.3 pounds. And today I was 173.9, down almost 1.6 pounds. Wow, uh, in terms of body fat, I think last time I was 21.4 and now I was 20.9. So I lost a big chunk of weight this week um, and that was really interesting because I did not think that was going to happen. In fact, last night uh, I went out on the lash with some friends uh, and I was quite hungover this morning. So um, I mean, maybe that's that's to do with it, I don't know. but. Um, yeah, I did not stick to my diet last week. Um, in fact, I ate like a pig last Sunday, so much so that when I weighed myself, I gained overnight six pounds. So <laughs> I'm not quite sure what the story is there, but it was interesting. Uh, I'm obviously really, really stoked that I'm continuing to lose weight and I'm continuing to lose body fat. Um, I did have an epiphany though, because one of the things that I've had as a challenge is, you know, I'll lose a bunch of weight, uh, as long as I'm, you know, focused and disciplined about things. But if I let things go, then, you know, I'll have two weeks, three weeks where basically I don't lose any weight. Um, and I, I'm like, you know what? I need to, to come up with some kind of routine to make this work. And I had an epiphany about that. If you look back in the past, uh, I've done three things that have helped me successfully lose weight in the past. One was just counting calories. I lost about 40 pounds doing that way, way back in like, 2011, 2010, 2011. Um, and that sucks because you have to be super disciplined and don't like it. The other thing I did is I gave up uh, alcohol for a couple of months and I lost like 10 pounds instantly. Um, the problem with that, of course, is you have to give up alcohol and I like alcohol. Uh, and I'm getting to, you know, I'm nearly 40 and at this point in my life I'm like, you know what, I like a drink. I'm not going to start doing anything crazy like giving it up. The third thing that worked for me, losing weight, was I went vegan for about eight months. Um, and again, I lost like 10 pounds instantly. And I pretty much stayed level, but it was it was interesting because I, I went vegan, I stuck to it for about eight months. Um, it meant my weight pretty consistently hovered around the 180 mark, uh, which you know was much better than when I was eating meat. Uh, it was around the 190 mark, and then the whole, the reason I got into to like losing weight at the beginning of this year was because I was at 192 pounds, which is a lot. So um, yeah, going vegan really helped, and I enjoyed it. Uh, I really enjoyed being vegan because it meant you had to think deliberately about everything you ate, and um, I would make myself delicious meals. I'd make myself like vegan wraps and vegan burgers and, and stuff like that. And I just enjoyed it. I enjoyed cooking. I enjoyed eating. Um, and I don't, I mean, I'm not one of these people who, who like espouses veganism for, for, for crazy reasons. I don't think mankind was meant to be vegan. Obviously we have incisors, we're predators, we're meant to eat meat. It's very clear. And I think, you know, the, we're probably meant to eat in like a paleolithic way of like lean meat, fibrous vegetables. Um, so I don't think veganism is like a particularly natural way to eat, but I think it is a healthy way to eat, definitely, because again, you're, you're avoiding high calorie food, um, but you're also avoiding a lot of the processed food. Um, and you know, when you do uh, vegan stuff right, basically what you're doing is you're, like, you're cooking fresh vegetables all the time, super high in fiber, and fiber is really, really good for you. It's really, really good for your heart. And you know, it's, it worked for me. 
So I've got a lot of friends who've done different things. I've got friends who were on the ketogenic diet, who basically cut out carbs completely and, and rejig their body to, to, to burn fat. And I think that's great, that works for them. Got other people, um, Pretty Ugly Beautiful, for example, is now eat, trying eating paleo for a month. And a big shout out to her, I discovered that she has an Instagram account. And if you follow her Instagram account, she always posts pictures of the meals she has and they look delicious. But paleo is another, another meal thing that, that works for some people, other people just count calories. For me, I was like, you know what? I enjoy being vegan, it felt really good. Um, the level of smugness you get is amazing. Like, sometimes I'll have arguments with people and they'll they'll bring up animal rights or something and it's fantastic because you get to be like, hey, do you eat meat? Yeah, well, shut the F up. Um, or even if they're vegetarian, it's like, are you vegetarian? Well, no, unless you're vegan, it doesn't count. Um, and so I, I enjoy that part of being vegan as well. Um, so I'm gonna, so my thought is, sorry, I had this long rambling diatribe. I am going to go vegan for the foreseeable future. And with the intermittent fasting thing, that makes it really, really super simple because you have one meal a day to focus on. So I went out today and I spent about a hundred bucks on like vegan meals for the week. Uh, I had my first one today, I had a beast burger. Oh, so good. In fact, check this out. Okay, so as part of my new vegan lifestyle, I am trying one of these beast burgers. They are made of plant protein, they're entirely vegan, but check this out. Oh, look how good that looks. Oh, so good, so good. And there we go. Oh, look at that, does that, or does that not look tasty as heck? 100% vegan fast food, love it. Yes, yeah, so that was my, uh, that was my vegan meal today and it was so good. Oh. It was so satisfying, and I mean, I just, I just know that if I stick to this, then I'm, I'm good. I mean, the intermittent fasting is definitely helping me maintain all my weight and lose weight. If I throw being vegan in there as well, forget about it. I'm sorted. I don't need to worry about anything else. I mean, it's, it's great. I'm, I'm going to be hooked up then. Um, so that's what I'm going to do, and. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to it. I'm kind of excited. Um, I, I enjoy a lot of the food that I made, so I'm kind of excited to, to spend a week uh, eating those things. I think the interesting thing is, I've always been going on about how the only diet that works is one that works for you. Um, and that's why, you know, some people have success with the ketogenic diet. Some people have success with uh, going paleo. Some people have success with counting calories. Um, for me, I don't think... The type of diet really matters. I think intermittent fasting has proven to me that really when it, it comes down to like calories in, calories out. And I mean, there's some body hacking that you can do with like the ketogenic diet. That definitely is outside of that equation. But for the most part, diets work when you just eat less food. And for me, uh, for any diet, in fact, when you start going on a type of diet, whether it's paleo or Atkins or keto or whatever, you have to stop and start thinking deliberately about the type of food that you're eating and the type of meals that you're eating. Um, and I think as soon as you do that, as soon as you take a step back and start thinking deliberately about it, then you've won. It's so like for me, the veganism thing, it's not necessarily that, that eating vegan is particularly healthy or is particularly good for losing weight. It just means that I'm gonna have to stop. I can't eat all of the crap that I'm feeding the kids, like chicken nuggets and, and things like that. I can't just stuff my face with cheddar flavored potato chips. I have to stop and think, is what I'm eating vegan? And that means everything that I'm eating, I have to think deliberately about. And as soon as you start doing that, then you eat less and you eat more sensibly and you eat more strategically. And I think that's why it works. So I think um, whatever diet you're on, as long as you're thinking, um, you're thinking intentionally about what you eat, it's going to work for you. I just, I just think veganism is going to work for me. Uh, so we'll see. I really do think it's going to make me unstoppable. Uh, I think that's all I have to talk about today. Um, I wanted to make some more videos today. I wanted to make another video about uh, my Firebird, but uh, it was pouring with rain and I was super busy all day. But um, I'm excited. I will catch up uh, with you all in the next day or so. Um, and on Friday, we'll see how this whole week of veganism is, is working and whether it's, uh, it's going to be a good uh, additional lifestyle hack to, to get me closer to my goals. 
Thank you very much. I will speak to you soon. Ciao.